Nicholas Andrew Plaza, a five-year-old boy, is missing from San Antonio, Texas. He disappeared on October 23, 2001, but not reported missing until November 21st, nearly one month later. He was last seen on the 100 block of Rock Valley Drive, San Antonio, Texas. His mother Priscilla and Plaza and Nicholas lived with her mother and family, but Priscilla soon found a boyfriend named Ruben Savala Jr. He was on the run for a previous crime of kidnapping his ex-girlfriend's child after a breakup. Priscilla's family complained about her lack of responsibility by spending time out of the home with Savala Jr., out for days at a time and living on the streets of San Antonio's west side. Levin Lee called El Hueso by locals. It is a humble and proud area of San Antonio dating back hundreds of years, and many low to middle income families live there. It does not have the most modern of homes, but residents are proud of El Hueso and maintain the Mexican-American Chicano culture, and they have fought and won against new developers coming in to buy their homes. Many homes are now historical buildings. Priscilla and Savala moved in with his parents, Celia, Ramos, and Ruben Savala Jr. Priscilla's family reported her to Child Protective Services. They tried to locate her and Nicholas, but each time they tried, they were not able to find him. Child Protective Services contacted law enforcement. Savala was arrested on a warrant for his previous crime of kidnapping. Trigger warning, trigger warning. Savala Jr. cared for Nicholas most of the time, frequently giving him baths behind closed doors. Savala told police he rolled over onto Nicholas and broke his leg. It had been three weeks since Nicholas was able to walk. Celia Ramos and Priscilla Plaza told police his hair was falling off. He had blisters to his mouth and red spots all over his body. Nicholas also suffered a severe cut to his private part, which caused the area to become blue and swollen and appear to be falling off. Savala Jr. stated he was protecting Priscilla, and he also stated he and Priscilla wrapped Nicholas in plastic trash bags, and he stated he disposed of Nicholas' body in a dumpster behind a bank. He led them to the area, but he was not found. He told police Nicholas had been sick for months, and Celia told him she felt his privates would fall off if he didn't receive medical care. Evidence of the injury was found at the home, blood-stained underwear matching the injury. Savala Jr. had asked his mother to tell Priscilla Child Protective Services had taken Nicholas away. They had taken him to the hospital while they were away at the movies. Celia Ramos and Priscilla agreed to testify in court, but Celia insisted she did not tell Priscilla Child Protective Services took Nicholas to the hospital. Unfortunately, Celia Ramos and Ruben Savala Sr. died before the trial. Savala Jr. was charged with murder and serious bodily injury to a child. There had only been two cases of guilty sentences without a body. He was found guilty of serious bodily injury to a child. He still maintains he did it to protect Priscilla. He was sentenced to 67 years in prison. Savala later appealed his sentence, but was denied. Priscilla was charged with injury to a child by omission and is serving 20 years time. She is scheduled to be released in 2025. Nicholas Andrew Plaza would be 21 years old. An age progression sketch has been drawn. If you have any information, please call the San Antonio Police Department at 210-207-7662. Should law enforcement have searched the landfill thoroughly? Did Savala lie about the location? Could Nicholas be located in a different area? Ladies, please do not choose a man over your own flesh and blood. Bring Nicholas home. Let's find Nicholas Plaza as he is loved. 